2020 has marked the 13th year of the Threatened Species Art and Writing Competition. The competition targets primary school aged children living in the MacArthur region and encourages them to learn about local threatened plant and animal species through artwork or creative writing pieces. Due to COVID-19, an award ceremony won't be held this year, but we've developed a video to recognise the wonderful entries that we have received. Thank you to everyone who entered this year's competition. And what artwork did you create, Vale? A barking owl. Amazing. And what did you create it on? Did you draw it? Did you what? What sort of art did you do? I minor cut it. Very impressive. And did you learn a little bit about the barking owl when you created your artwork? Really? What What did you learn? That it's also called the blinking owl. Yeah, very cool. And did you learn maybe where they might live? In the forest and in the bush and the farm. Very important to all to all um, flowers around it because it makes it healthy when when it eats some it makes it makes that flower all healthy because when it sucks the nectar it's it really helps to make it stay alive like for longer and it's a threatened species. Amazing! And I can see here that you've stuck some beautiful bits of nature on your artwork. Did you want to tell me about um, that and where you got them from and how you made your artwork? I got I got these gum nuts from Laura, like from my school, and I you know got these leaves just lying around and I put them near these branches to make to make like like it look like a tree that the honey eaters standing on. And these flowers, Mum helped me make a paintbrush out of a toilet roll and. We, and I stuck, like, I dabbed them around there and it made like flowers all around. I am thrilled to be part of the uh, Threatened Species uh, Art Competition here, which is in its 13th year. This is so important, it's wonderful to see so many entries this year. It's really important that we remember that we need to be doing everything we can as a community to look after and preserve uh, these species for future generations. If we don't look after their habitat, then we will not see them in the future. So, on behalf of Council, thank you to all those wonderful school students and teachers that took part in the competition and those fantastic entries that all came through. It's always amazing to see the talent that's out there and really excited uh, to uh, see how we can all work together to preserve and protect and uh, look after our wonderful biodiversity and natural bushlands. kind of see it in his eyes if you look closely that he's kind of suffering. I've seen kind of like when I'm just when we're driving around our area I've seen heaps of like um, on the side of the road like the big electric signs they have on trailers 
that have just said like about how many koalas have been killed in our area and about how they're an endangered species and when we were told about like the topic of endangered animals in our area that was the first thing that came to my head and I just chose that. parts you use in the waist up category talia? Some tin foil and some plastic for the wings and I also used red bag for the wings. Amazing, so beautiful. And where did you, um, so you learnt about their habitat did you want to um, tell us a little bit about where they might be found and some cool facts that you know about the dragonfly? Um, on the body, some of the parts are iridescent and um, they've got pretty wings. Amazing. And where might you find them? Where may they live, do you think? Thanks for all your wonderful entries for this year's competition. I know the MacArthur, as yourselves, has wonderful animals and also lovely uh, native uh, bushland as well. And this is a competition about our natural environment and the protection of our uh, Cumberland Plain woodland, our grey-headed flying fox and especially our koalas that we so dearly love. So in terms of participating in this competition, and doing your wonderful artwork and submissions, you're helping uh, to teach other people to how to look after the environment, how important it is for us here at Campbelltown, but not only for Campbelltown, but for Camden and the Wollandilly. And it's fantastic to have a collaboration between the three councils and all the wonderful people from those three councils uh, who have submitted uh, their pieces of artwork. And good luck to everyone. And if you, haven't, if you don't win this year, maybe next year. story um did, what did you love learning about um pygmy possums um that they can like hang on twigs with only their tails and they can climb back up they can pollinate like bees <coughs> um they like living in trees and like being in big areas, um, we should build nest boxings for them, um, control cats, dogs and foxes, and try to stop the fires from spreading into their homes.